Welcome back, Classic Gamers, and thanks for viewing Jay the Classic Gamers. Let's play Swords and Serpents for the NES. The reason I'm playing this game is because Jack Saw Jack, a fellow YouTuber, requested that I play this game. Check out his channel. He's doing a really cool Let's Play of Grimrock. When he asked me to do this Let's Play, I didn't own the game, so I went out and hunted this game down. I found it at a local game store for $5. And with that said, let's get started. This is very interesting. It's actually a one, two player, or four player game. You don't find a lot of role playing games like that. Let's begin a new game, of course. You can use an existing party or you can create your own. I prefer to create my own party. The first character we're going to want to create is a warrior, so we're going to need some strength and agility. Wow, that's a good row. Let's go ahead and name him Jay. The next character we're going to want to create is a thief. So we're going to need some strength and agility also. More agility than strength though. You can tell I thought about this row for a while. There we go, that looks like it's good enough. And we're going to name the thief Jack, in honor of Jack Saw Jack, who recommended that I play this game. The next class we're going to create is a magician, so you're going to want a lot of intelligence and agility, and that is perfect. Let's bring back Claire from my Let's Play Final Fantasy series. The next class that we're going to make is another magician. You can't have enough of these guys in your party. It's the only way you can heal your party unless you find a temple. That's good enough. It's pretty well balanced. Let's bring back another one of my characters from Final Fantasy. Merle. And here we are at the beginning of the game. Just thrown into some random dungeon. Adventure is your destiny! That is one creepy looking old dude. Uh oh, our first battle with a bat. He's going down. I like the way the enemies die in this game. It's like some psychedelic trip. Destiny. Your destiny is to slay the dragon. You must collect seven ruby treasures. 
This is a game I've never played before in my life, but I'm going to try to show you every level in its entirety. And I am using maps that are on GameFAQs.com. Whoa, some zombies! You gotta admit, that's a pretty cool looking zombie. Psychedelic death! Let's see what's over here. Oh, a dead end. Maybe not. I gotta find a knife. Each party member does take their own turn, but a lot of times I just find myself mashing the A button and attacking. I am going to cut out some of the scenes where I'm healing my party members or I'm just checking my inventory or something like that. I might cut out some of the battles also, because it seems like every couple steps you're running into a monster. Damn, that was a fast ass whooping. Some spiders. Welcome to the armory. Anyone wishing to shop here should press A. Let's see what kind of stuff they have to sell. There are a few items that we are going to want here. You're going to want two shields, one for the warrior, one for the thief, and you're also going to want at least one plus two sword. So I'm going to go ahead and buy the two shields right now and equip them. Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. The ways of magic are scattered through the maze. For bravery and valor, your party is promoted to experience level 2. Let's go over here and check it out. Oh, another dead end. Or maybe not. A zombie. Mash the A button. Kill zombie. Let's go up here and check it out. See what I mean about running into an enemy every few steps? And I haven't even cut hardly any of the fights out yet. Damn, they're trying to kill Jay. Atta boy, Claire.
I have to admit, this was a pretty hard battle. I almost had Jay die and Claire die. Now let's go over here and explore. Oh, a door. Let's see what's in. Temples are on the 1st, 5th, and 10th levels. Die, little spider. At the end of this hallway is actually the temple where you can heal your party members and it revives dead ones. And the cool thing about this game, unlike Final Fantasy, is if a party member dies, he can still get the experience from what the other ones killed. Welcome to the temple. The monks will tend to your wounds. Now I'm just going to walk around in this room and fill out the map for it. Die, little baddies! Cool, I got a sword. That is actually an upgrade for Jack. He's only carrying a dagger. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the hallway where the temple is and just walk back and forth until I grind 750 goats so I can buy a plus 2 sword from the armory. And this was the battle where I reached level 3. For bravery and valor, your party is promoted to experience level 3. And this was the battle where I reached level 4. For bravery and valor, your party is promoted to experience level 4. Alright, we're back in the temple and we've grinded enough money for the plus 2 sword. Now let's head to the armor. Yeah, yeah, we heard you the first time. Who dare stands in my way between me and the armor? Oh, a couple knights. Die, you evil knight scum! Really? I took one more step and ran into two more knights. That's ridiculous. So I went ahead and bought the plus two sword at the armory. But like a dumbass, I forgot to equip it on Jay. So Jay walks around the rest of this level unarmed. Well, I guess he can always punch him. Let's go back to this door and do some exploring. This knight's about to receive a royal beatdown.
One good thing about these spiders, at least they don't poison you. The words to a sting spell are written here. So now we got the new sting spell for our magicians. You don't want none back. Three evil knights, come get you some. Uh-oh, Claire's about to die. Hill him up, Merle. This game does get a little annoying by running into so many enemies so often. This is what happens when you run from an enemy. Cowards. When the time comes, prepare for victory. Okay, whatever that means. Wow, I'm surprised I've taken this many steps without running into an enemy. Me and my big mouth. Who wants to receive their ass? A couple of knights? Okay, here you go.
written on the floor. The ruby sword lays at the point of the sword. More annoying bats. But dead bats, on the other hand, are not annoying. At the end of this hallway, the map on GameFacts.com says there's a teleport behind that wall to lead you to level 6. But we won't worry about that until much later. Button mash for the win! No brains for you, Mr. Zombie. No, Mr. Zombie, you cannot have my brains. I know I'm going to be very frustrated just half the time trying to fill out these maps. Uh, there's enemies everywhere! Alright, I'm going to cut a couple of these battles out. Alright, let's go up here and check it out. Several men ahead are standing guard. Well, I think those several men need to get their asses whooped. Damn, I thought it said several. Six isn't several. Whoa, Jack just took one out with one hit. Too 
bet I didn't equip that plus two sword to Jay, or else we might whoop these guys even quicker. Be prepared for this battle to be a long one, and make sure you keep an eye on everybody's hit points and heal when necessary. And down goes another one. And another one goes down. Only one more to go. And he bites the dust too. And in this room, we find the stairs to level 2. So this concludes Jay the Classic Gamer's Let's Play Swords and Serpents Part 1. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for Part 2.